Hi my YouTube family, this is Melody from Home Garden and Fashion. Please welcome to Home Garden and Fashion. First of all, I would like to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And I would also like to request all my subscribers, please do go to my Facebook fan page and give me a like there. And please follow me on Twitter, I am on Twitter too. So today I am going to talk about, it's one of the previous videos where I show how to make purses i have made about seven purses so one of my subscribers she said she couldn't find the egg carton so to make the purse so i'm going to today make a purse out of cereal box and you can make a purse practically out of any kind of boxes and gradually one by one i will show you how you can use this to make purses so this is a cut piece of a cereal box you can cut uh, any length or width is up to you i'm just going to show you how you can use it so this is a cereal box and if you want to make a um, purse with this one all you need to do is cut right here cut right here open it and use this long portion so for example this one if i want to make a purse out of this one what i would do is i would take out this portion like this and then you open here and then you open here so you see over here now you have quite a enough space now you can cut out all these sides now you can make a wide one or you can make a lengthwise long one it's up to you so this one i will show you in this video the long one and you can make with this one a wide one too so for my subscriber who wanted to know that what kind of um, cardboard she can use i told her to use any soft and i told her to use cereal boxes and she wanted me to show her how to use the cereal box so i'm showing it to you dear this is how you use the cereal box you just open up the way i just showed you and then if you want to make a big purse then you use this entire section and if you want to make a little purses then you use a little piece of cardboard the whole idea of putting a cardboard inside the purse is to make the purse a little tough otherwise you know the purse uh, if you just make it with the fabric it won't be so good you need to have a little bit of hardness in the purse so here you see you would fold it like this Here's, see, here's the top, we already have a fork. So we fold the bottom like this, and you see top could come down, you make your own fold, or you can have this much, or you can fold from this section like this, and you see, you have yourself this. Now this one, you just open it up, and wrap it up with fabric, and make sure before you make the fabric as a pillow cover and put this cardboard inside, you decorate the fabric. After that, you just do like this and then you stitch all the sides just the way I show you on all the other videos and you put any beads or a sequence, whatever you feel like. And over here, how I show you in the parts, you make all those to put a strap button or you can put just snap button here, magnetic button or you can glue some button here or um, you can um, glue anything which will hold for this one. And that's how you make cereal box. Now, if I want to make the long ones, I will go like this and I'll make two long ones. So now here I'm sewing long one. In the process, I already cut up this portion too because I don't need this portion. This was going to make it long enough. So let me get back to this one. Here you see I have this and that is pretty long and I left this top portion. But when I put this thing, that time I cut out the top portion. I don't need the top portion. I use this much. So what I did basically, is I have two pieces of fabric. Now, I don't have any specific measurement. I just took two pieces of fabric 
and you choose your own measurement how big you want the parts to be now with these two pieces you put their right side both the joint their right side and now you stitch it in the machine or your hand stitch anything that you have if you do hand stitch i mm, ask you to do twice because that way your bag will be really strong and if you can do twice that'll be really good now after you do that then you're going to turn it inside out like this after you do that see it came out like this and made it like a pocket and in this pocket is you're going to insert your cardboard so you insert your cardboard in the pocket like this until the entire cardboard is in and you see how much you need do not cut it before you see because you don't want a smaller cardboard or a larger cardboard you just want just right okay so now we have the cardboard inside now you see it came up to here now you're going to just snap this portion because you don't need it So you see we have a nice structure here this cardboard gives this fabric a structure a base now what you need to do is you're going to adjust this cardboard to the size and you fold it here and you're going to stitch so make sure though the cardboard goes in nicely because you don't want any cardboard sewing and you want just right size so you can fold it here cut it up if you think it's getting sold up and then you do like this and stitch your this fabric you can here I kept folding folded you don't need to keep it folded you can just cut it and if you do keep folded you have to make sure you smooth it out it's not gonna stand up okay like this now you're going to stitch this portion after you stitch this portion, then you fold it like this. You get to your desired length, like this. And the top portion comes down like this. And you see, voila, you have yourself a beautiful clutch. And now, what are you going to do with this? You're gonna put here a button, or a snap button, magnetic button, or a velcro you can glue to velcro over here and you're going to decorate this entire outside so that's I'm going to show you how to decorate this this is I'm doing with the rhinestone after you finish doing that go back to all my other parts videos and learn how we stitch this side it's very basic you just take a big big needle and then you have to stitch the side stitch the side once you're done stitching but I will stitch this one after I decorate it because once you decorate you cannot once you stitch you cannot decorate so you have to stitch it after you decorate after your decoration has dried you have given it a solid three hours to dry and then you run your fingers hands and you see it's all dry it's not going to get messed up when you work with it now this one I will decorate with some other color since I'm sewing this one do uh, you white white crystal color so after this you are going to stitch and put some beads and sequins and this whole beautiful thing you put the, the way you like any kind of your preference beautiful flowers beads and sequins so this one I will show you with one and this one show you with one but first I need to show you the decoration in this one and let it dry and once it dried then I will show you the side stitching and we're going to think about what to put here as I mentioned you put magnetic buttons you put velcro here glue it or stitch it velcro will be glued you cannot stitch the velcro but you can mm, do the magnetic button you can show it or you can put just regular button fancy button and you have yourself a beautiful clutch 
Now I have made another thing. I became even more creative. I have made for this clutch a handle. Now this handle, how this came is this was in my brown rice bag. So I usually throw this thing and now I started collecting it because I looked at it. I thought, oh, this could make a very beautiful handle for my purse. So for this, um, I made the handle. And I'll show you how you're going to wrap this one. So after you wrap it, I'll show you how to wrap it. After you wrap it, you're going to stitch it here. And after you stitch it and you don't want to see you have a beautiful handle to hold your clutch. Now you don't want this handle the back to be showing outside like this so what do you do over here you put two big big rhinestone i have a huge rhinestone two huge huge rhinestone i will put it here or i can put three one two three so it will become like a design and i will put three rhinestone here so that will become like a design so i can put in the top rhinestone and three rhinestone here so both the side will have a design and it will be a nice beautiful hole for your clutch let me show you what I mean. See, this is, I still need to put more um, rhinestone in it. I will put a lot more rhinestone in this one. Now you see over here my clutch and I'm going to stitch it over here, over here like this. And just a basic stitch you give. And you see when I, when I finish, I will show you the finished product after I decorate. So it will be like this, something like this. And then you can hold your clutch and go to a party. And it looks so pretty. So let me show you the decoration a little bit. And then you can do the rest. Because it will be just the same thing. And I don't want to bore you with the same thing for hours. So you can finish it yourself. I will just show it to you how to do it. For this you need your just basic rhinestone. You can pick it up any size you want and get yourself a nice little bowl to put your rhinestone and then you can put seed bead too but I'm going to use the seed bead to do the other one this one less two with the rhinestone and like this you can make uh, many clutches all beautiful colors and different different designs eventually I will start showing you with everything with um, let's say cereal box and the snack box the cracker box and all kinds of crackers and snack that comes in the boxes I will sew one by one every one of them I have already sewn napkin box I have already sewn making uh, little parts for the party parts with a salt tub and I have already sewn you uh, with the um, egg carton so now I have to show you with all the other snack boxes too let me show you this one over here how we're going to do this I will show you one row and you can just do the rest of the row just like that. So you use your glitter dimensional fabric paint which I've been using for all my videos. And then you use the rhinestones. These are little big so you may not be able to pick them up with this little tool I invented. This will be hard to pick up with the tool. So I'm just going to drop it on top and then set it like this. So you continue with the entire parts and then let it dry for three hours. And then I'm going to show you the side stitching and stitching the handle. Like this. Now let me do one more row to show you how it is done. There's nothing to it. You just drop your this glitter dimensional fabric paint slash glue. I will put uh, the description in the description box what exactly it is. Okay, like this. About five or six in a row depending on how big is the cardboard you have and how big is your fabric and I haven't given any measurements but I can give the measurements okay I have the other one and I can just measure it and put the measurement in the description box and the cereal boxes you know varies little big 
so depending on how big is the cereal box you want to do so here this is how you will put the entire length with the rhinestone and then you can add the beads too the way I show you in my other video or I will make the other one with the beads and I can teach you that one so let me finish this entire section and let it dry for three hours and I will get back to you finish the rest I will stitch the sides and the handle and I'll show you the final product hi so I would like to show you the end and this is the end product so this is the clutch I made and I was doing the decoration so now the decoration is finished and it's all dried so this side is made with rhinestone white rhinestone this crystal rhinestone and this side is made with crystal sequins so these are white sequins just like a crystal sequins and this side is with rhinestone and this clutch is made Mm, with the um, cereal box as I shown you I put the cereal box inside now over here you can add some buttons as I mentioned or you can add from uh, some snap buttons or uh, just glue it uh, but I put hooks so I have just two hooks I added and inside here you see there's plenty of space to put your uh, lipstick or a comb a cell phone so this clutch is inside has a, a cereal box clutch the cereal box uh, uh, cardboard is inside and the reason for putting the cardboard is made the clutch really nice and sturdy so over here you see uh, I put two hooks so you can use hooks or buttons and so this is the final product and next I will be doing a clutch made from uh, some uh, other material and I'll show you that and this one I as I mentioned I was going to put some handles but I didn't put it because I thought that this looks better this way without the handle but the next one I will be adding those handles and I'll show you how to add the handle so don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much have a great day. Bye-bye.